Hi everyone, I just pulled up in my 1946 Chevy pickup. Something that my great grandfather would have driven for chalet. And I'm here to see what Buddy has brought us on the Farm Truck Friday. So without further ado, I'll hand them off to you guys. There you go, buddy. Okay, welcome to July 7th, Farm Truck Friday, 7-7-17. We're 100 years old. The truck is 19 from 1946. I'm from 1959. Today we have seven or eight beautiful plants for you, starting with uh, things that will love, butterflies will absolutely love. We, the swamp milkweed we have is called uh, Asclepius incarnata Ice Ballet. It's a white, uh, a white milkweed. So creamy white, 30 to 36 inches tall, loves moist uh, soil. It's very adaptable. So even if you keep your soil uniformly moist, it will do well. Um, sunshine and moist or part shade and moist. Beautiful tall butterflies love it for the nectar. The caterpillars love it and chew up on the leaves. So come and get that. The Ice Ballet is a terrific price today. That is only $10 for one gallon plant. Going down the list, if you've ever had trouble growing delphinium, delphinium is one of those plants you love to hate and hate to love. This is Chinese or Siberian delphinium called uh, blue butterfly. Beautiful electric blue, lacy foliage, easy to grow as long as you just mix in a little compost and mulch. It, it loves sunshine, it shines in sunshine, matches the color of the blue trim on the chalet truck. So this is the delphinium to start off. If you ever lost a big tall delphinium, this is the one to start off with. Below that is, is a little tiny grass, a little tiny fescue called Elijah's Blue. It's a powdery, silvery blue plant. Reminds me of a sea urchin or a hedgehog. What this does is it stays not much taller than that. It'll maybe get between the size of a, of a grapefruit or a cantaloupe in height and diameter. It wants good, sharp drainage. So put it in sunshine, don't put it in shade. Put a little extra compost in there. If I do three to 10, do five to 10 in good drainage and then in the winter time mulch it there's a tendency to rot out in the center of it just get yellowed out and heave up out of the ground in the winter time so with good compost down in the soil you'll get good rooting down deep and then actually mulch over the crown in the winter time to help it if it's if it you'll love this sunshine rarely does it have many flowers it's mostly for, mostly for the texture of this little sea urchin or hedgehog type texture in a garden great edger Specialty hostas. Every week we've had uh, one or two of a premium hosta. This year, it is this week it is Rainforest Sunrise. Rainforest Sunrise has got a medium sized saucer shaped sized leaf. It's got, it comes out with this beautiful golden yellow that ripens in a deep limey green with a green edge to it. It's seersucker. If you ever had a seersucker coat for summer, a seersucker blouse or dress, that's what this leaf does. The leaf is small, it will get 36 inches wide. It'll be only about 14 to 18 inches tall. Pure white flowers on short scapes. So, and tidy, tidy one. That's $45. It's one that would regularly cost you $70. Fall in love with it. This is a birthday present for you, uh, to yourself or to a really good gardening friend. Uh, we talked about Ice ba Ballet. Uh, the in shrubs, Deer Villa is one of those unique things plants it's called bush honeysuckle it's not related to honeysuckle at all beautiful yellow flowers in midsummer through into late summer that the butterflies absolutely love so if you want butterflies and bees if you want to attract butterflies to your garden put this in it's prettier than a red twig dogwood it should replace every red twig dogwood in the world for places where you would do that medium light to full blazing sunshine this is one new introduction called Kodiak Black. When this ages out and gets its full on sun, uh, suntan, it's going to be almost purple black on the leaves. So easy texture, three and a half to three feet tall and about four to five feet wide. Kodiak Black Deer Villa. I have one of those. It's the most beautiful plant. Mm -hmm. It is. It's amazing. Deer Villa, weird. The common name for it is Bush Honeysuckle. Bush honeysuckle is very confusing whether it's whether it's going to look like our big old rangy honeysuckles. Tidy and neat and beautiful. It basically is a native, but a named cultivar of a native. But behind me, this is the 